consultant for Reddington. Today, I'm going to give you the introduction of the Okta company. What are the products that we have to offer and the integration with the FortiGate firewall for two-factor authentication. So before we, I start, I'll just like to uh, give my sympathy to the situation that we are in. Hope everyone is fine and healthy and back to the work as the now life is getting normal. But still a lot of the people are going to use the remote work or the work from home. So in that perspective, we have scheduled this session today that how Okta can help you in that scenario. I'm sure that not every employee of the company is going to work from the office. Still, there will be 50, 40% of the employee that will work from the home. And it's going to be the new normal for the most of the company as well. And that is where our opportunity lies with the Okta and how Okta will help you in that scenario. So let's get start on. Now, millions of people use Okta every single day on any device that they have access to get to all the applications and data that they need to do their most important work to connect to the company products and service. Now, as you can see on the screen now, these are the numbers of license or the user that each company is using for the Okta. As you can see, the company is like 20th Fox uh, Century, which is uh, one of the leader in movie creation in the Hollywood, then Experian, which is financial company, Twitter, that is using Okta again, and so is this. So these are the number of employee in each of the company that they use Okta for one or the another reason. And not only that, but some of the company like Coca-Cola, Tesla, LinkedIn, they use this feature for their customer as well, not only for internal employee, but for the customer with whom they are dealing with. And when you see the screen, it's not only available for laptop, it is available for mobile or lap or tablet as well. So this is the login screen which you will get when you will use the Okta for the single sign-on or even for authentication purpose. And once you log in, and so is the Adobe, Flex, American Express. These are the numbers of users that each of this company is using, whether it's for internal employee for, or for the customer or the partners with whom they are dealing with. And as you can see, once they log in, this is the portal that they will get from where they can just click on any of the icon and launch their most critical application where they need to do the most important work. So it is very easy for one of the employee of a company just to remember one username and password and log in into the Okta portal and just forget about all the other username and password so that it reduces the overhead on the employee to remember the username and password. Now, there will be five to six application in each organization where they want to use it or they have to use it every day. Now, Okta comes into that category. And what our job is to make the life easier for the employee to, uh, to work on the day-to-day -day activity. Now, the question is, why do these millions of people uses Okta every day. So the main reason why they use it because of the cybersecurity threat that has evolved from vandalism to threat to actually gone on to a war level. Now, if every company, company is becoming a technology company, that also means that every company can be breached. And this is the data that we have collected. In 2018, 1.4 billion of data record has been compromised. Not only that, average cost per bridge is around 4 million. This is the data that is from the global customer. And 88% of the breach that is occurred because of the stolen or weak credential. Now we know that what employee keep the password, maybe to log in into the email or to log in into the desktop or even for the bank account. They remember, they use the password which is easy to remember or which is easy to guess for the hacker. And this is the main reason why 
the breach is occur because of the weak credential now octa secures the word of the largest enterprise that i already discussed so it not only secure the workforce that is employee but it can secure their supplier partner and most importantly their customer with whom they are working so i will give you the example of one of the company so adobe is the first that i would like to discuss now it's a technology company if there ever was one it's the sixth largest software company in the world they are transforming themselves from making product that you download and install into the laptop maybe every day you are using a pdf or if somebody is using the license version of the adobe creator so that is may again a photoshop and illustrator to the product that you can install right now on the laptop now they are transforming that into the web browser that you can access it through the cloud now what was creative suite which you can install on the laptop is now creative cloud and adobe customers all their enterprise customers access this creative cloud using octa technology built directly into their product now i'll give you the more detail about that how they are using octa authentication for the customer to log in into their portal they use our api technology and our authentication technology to give their customer a better but more secure access experience for the creative cloud secondly mgm resort now mgm resort is one of the largest uh, resorts come chain in the usa they own the half of the las vegas strip it's not just a properties like mgm grand it's also properties like bellagio aria treasure island all of this hotel it comes under this mgm group now each of this property they have their own domain they have their own active directory but mgm has decided to have one identity for the customer loyalty program called m life now octa both secure and manage all their customer identity millions of identity for their m life loyalty program and they get such secure experience for their customer but they also get the ability to see what their customer want and then as a result they can give them a better user experience for the marketing pers per perspective when they log in with with their username and password you can integrate octa into the splunk or arc site for the big data analysis and then they can offer the different kind of uh, offers to their customer through the web website only and lastly the 20th fox century that makes one of the iconic movies and tv store and now when we talk about this company they historically they when they created a new movie or a new program they had to create a new it infrastructure that they will place just for the while the movie was being created and they will put the on premise exchange on premise active directory and once the movie is over and completed they will tear it apart everything and when they actually move to the cloud uh, they want to make that easier and more streamlined as we know that cloud adoption it at pace right now every company is moving so is 20th century fox now today 20th century fox has gone completely digital they connect 20 organize 200 sorry organizations virtually using the cloud application like box to collaborate into their production of some of their favorite movie like martian now octa is the identity layer that connect all those organization to their cloud application simply and securely they uses octa for the authentication method so octa what do we see here we see a pattern we see octa as a foundation for secure connection between people and technology it's employee accessing their applic apps not just their cloud based app but their on prem app as well as not as well as on prem app and not only from desktop laptop but from their mobile or the laptop uh, la tablet as well now it's remote worker that will use the mobile device so we can help the created policy for that as well based on the country location that from where you want to allow the access to the application now apart from that there will be a partner who will log into their portal to get more information 
so that they can use to interact with the different companies and finally the customers connecting directly to their product like ad hoc so okta can securely connect anyone with anything and if we look at the two side of the equation the people and the technology it there are many different type of people employee contractor partners and this is what we discuss and there are many type of technology applications like where they want to connect from device that they want to connect and if we see the core that can connect to people and technology is the identity so this is where okta will help you and the fundamental insight of this that okta create is the new category of product and we call it as a okta identity cloud now when we talk about okta identity cloud it is born and built 100% in the cloud from the first day the code that was written for the okta it is written for the cloud technology uh, we build this as a cloud based service you can't take on premise uh, identity service put it into the cloud like azure aws google and got and get the identity ser services and feature that okta is providing because that isn't designed for the cloud secondly we connect everything any technology that is there and we know the technology is fast changing faster than ever before what your user needs is today it will be completely different tomorrow and the only chance you have to be successful is to connect everything and by connecting everything we preserve the choice that is fundamental for you that you can use anything and you can connect to everything that is the reason why we are future proof and why we are more popular than any other vendor because we allow user <coughs> to use a choice to connect to everything and if you are going to do what okta does manage the millions of identity of world's leading company you have to be 100% secure and we are secure we have all the kind different kind of certification that makes okta secure and we follow all the compliance and lastly we have to be always on of course if we are going to be the front door of every employee's access to the tool that they need for their work so we are between the customers company and their customer so we are in the revenue system as well so we have to be more reliable than anything that we connect to and we are that as well we are 100% available because okta is a cloud and there is high availability for all the services that, that we use so this is the okta identity cloud so okta identity cloud it's nothing but a comprom it's a compromise of a multiple comprised of multiple product single sign on universal directory adaptive mfa life cycle management mobility management developer sdk and api access management so i'm going to talk about some of the product in detail so before we go that just give you the information where do okta stand it is a leader in every quadrant every gartner magic quadrant and it is the only company to achieve it and not only that okta is the one who is created this category before that there was no category for the iim and in 2019 when magic quadrant again we are way ahead than the any of our competitor as you can see on top right side okta is way ahead and the second most nearest company which is microsoft so best in the class product that we offer this is the reason why we are a leader in the gartner as well as in identity access management solution because of the product like single sign on universal directory life cycle management mobility management adaptive mfa so what does an api access management and developer sdk so what does this all product do it will help you to secure the identity of your employee of your customer of your partner or or your supplier so this is the product that will help you in achieve that aspect of the security now when we talk about that we have a two model 
one is the workforce identity that is for the internal employee and second one is the customer identity so license will be also based on this model so if you are going to use the octa for the internal employee your product will be different single sign on universal directory life cycle management api access management multi factor authentication and advanced server access and so for customer identity we have products like authentication authorization user management adaptive mfa life cycle management and b2b integration so based on the initiative of the company you can use the different product and then you can utilize the octa for the identity moving forward i'm going to give you the detail information about the octa single sign on so i will give you the sso pitch and the introduction for the single sign on so when most people think of octa and sso they think of this a web portal that easily available for uh, easily available and accessible for enterprise app on any device it's easy and accessible and it's always on so octa sso is integrate integrated into everything and focus on complete user experience your customer care because sso help reduce the help desk call and it delights their end user by removing the frustration of managing multiple username and password as you can see on the screen you can as as many application as you want there is a different tab that you can categorize and put the application into so it will delight their end customer and employee by re removing the frustration of managing multiple username and password now when we talk about the octa single sign on is octa single sign on is a broader and more comprehensive than just a web portal it's a built on top of our four four, a four core pillar which is integrated access management customizable user experience secure directory with integration and real time uh, security reporting so when we talk about the integrated access management it is nothing but the integration of the 6500 out of box uh pre integrated app that you will get out of box which is largest in the segment and not only that you can integrate any app vpn or modern api with support any of this authentication method that you see like saml open id connect auth secure web authentication or maybe you are using on prem app with radius and you can integrate with the our collaboration partner like fi network citrix palo alto network as well and finally you can create the policy based on that it will allow or deny the access to the application so this is the experience that you can have as a end customer you can customize the logo of the octa and put your own company logo and you can change the login page authentication logo as well into the octa so this is what you will get when the octa single sign on multiple application and located at one place and that will remove the overhead or the frustration of managing multiple username and password this is the again the login page that you can customize put your own company logo into the login page moving on we are going to discuss about the adaptive mfa which is more important than before because of the situation that we are in work from home situation or the remote work so why do we need adaptive mfa uh, of course because of the modern attack tactics that they use they have the different different technique to get into the network by sending a phishing email by social engineering or by using a brute force attack or credential stuffing attack so these are the technique that they use to breach the network or the organization by ga gaining access into the admin user or any of the employee user so what is the solution to prevent this is the mfa because it will ask you for the second factor of authentication that is more secure than the only username and password and you can use the different different techniques for the second factor of authentication so now you see the secure authentication with mfa and in octa you will get adaptive mfa that is more secure than 
only a normal multi-factor authentication. So this is what you will get in adaptive MFA. So you can create a policy based on the network. So for example, if your employee try to log in from your own uh, network inside the network, so they will have the IP address. So you can define the IP address for which you want to ask for the multi-factor authentication. And you can also deny the access if somebody try to log in from a country which you want to ban then which applications that he or she try to access and from which device whether it's a mobile device or a laptop or a tablet and based on that you can create a policy that whether you want to ask the mfa or not for example if somebody try to access the application from on premise you don't want to ask them for the second factor authentication if somebody tries to log in from the different location then the company's network you can enable the authentic second factor of authentication and based on the group as well you can enable the authentication so that is nothing but a adaptive mfa it will adapt based on the policy that you have created and what are the different kind of authentication second factor of authentication that you can use that is available on this so from left to right, it will give you low assurance to high assurance. Of course, the topmost is the biometric based second factor of authentication. That is Windows Hello or Apple Touch ID. And then if we go on the downside, that is physical token and Octa push, that is mobile based application. Octa verify is available as free with single sign on product. Yes, it's Okta Verify is free with the single sign on. You don't have to go for the MFA solution. Then you can use the software OTP or the SMS based authentication or the email as a second factor of authentication. And lastly, you can, of course, low level assurance is the power and password and the security question. So this is the reason why we have to use the adaptive MFA because the risk is not static and so your security shouldn't either be a static you have to adapt the risk and based on the risk you have to dynamically create a policy and or use the policy which will enhance the security of the user so based on that you can enable the mfa in octa so that easy in mfa in octa now this is the kind of experience that you will get as you can see on the screen, I will just zoom in. This is the login request. Somebody try to log in. This is a push notification. You don't have to provide the six digit key. You just have to approve or deny. And based on that, the user will be able to log in into the specific uh, URL or the specific application. Now, when we talk about MFA, it can integrate with the entire organization ecosystem. And on top of that, we have the API, which you can push to the same solution for the advanced analysis. And it will help you in the event of the breach as well. So this is what you will get with the Okta MFA. If I recap, the best practice for protecting the critical app or the critical info is implement a strong authentication solution that secure authentication everywhere is easy to use for end user and administrator and integrate with the entire organization and these are the characteristics that we already discussed which we can use into the mfa security question password sms voice or email software otp octa push that is octa verify application any third party physical token like do jamal or do duo token and the biometric of course now what i'm going to show you is the demo of a two-factor authentication that you can integrate with the firewall now here i have taken the example of 40 gate firewall now it is not mandatory to go with the 40 gate any firewall that supports the radius authentication can be integrated with the octa for the two-factor authentication so you can use palo alto checkpoint any other firewall as well for the vpn user when they try to log in so here you can see on top left side 
the user and password is provided for maybe SSL based authentication for a web browser or the client based authentication. When they try to log in into the firewall, what firewall do? It will contact the Okta radius agent that you have installed on the Okta direct on the Active Directory. And on the same Active Directory, you will have the Active Directory agent. So two agents will be there. This will help. Okta to identify the user information that you have on the Active Directory and it will seek all the user information with the Okta Cloud. So what this radius agent will do, it will ask the information on the cloud and then cloud will on the first step, it will communicate with the Okta Directory agent and it will send the token with the directory whether this username and password is correct or not. And when it does Okta Directory, it will ask for the second factor of authentication. And once you provide that authentication, again, Okta agent will go and check with the Okta. And then finally, you will be able to log in into the FortiGet SSL web browser or the client. So this is the diagram, how it works. It looks complex, but you just have to install two agent and then use Okta as a second factor of authentication. Now, why I'm emphasis, uh, I'm going to uh, why we are emphasizing on this is because for six months this feature is free. Any of your customer who wants to use this, they can use it. And Okta is running an offer because of the COVID situation. They are providing this feature as free without any limitation of the number of users. So you can contact me if any of your customer require the second factor of authentication. You can use Okta. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just show you the how actually it works. I will stop the presentation. So I will log into my Okta portal. So this is the Okta portal. I'm logging as an admin. I will just show you where I have integrated the Active Directory into Okta Cloud. So this is the portal when you log in, this is the application that you will get. I will go into the admin portal. So this is a directory and here's the directory integration where I have integrated Active Directory. So as you can see, this is the domain that I have integrated. It is active right now. And these are the imported users. Agent is active and healthy. That means it is continuously in sync, in sync with the Okta. So this is where you integrate. Now there is a document how you can install and integrate. You just need to give this URL admin credential into the Okta. So where does this agent is it reside? Here is the my Active Directory. As you can see, this is the domain Red Octa VPN, which I have integrated. Here is the user, different, different user, VPN Octa. These are the user I'm going to use for the testing. And this is the agent, two agent, which is there. Now you can see this is the my account, is a member of domain. Of course, you need a domain admin group. Now the beauty of this, agent is you don't have to restart or you don't have to open any port. It works on port 443, which is mostly open on any firewall. So that's it. You just have to provide this information. And this is the Okta detail for the radius agent. So I have already installed that and it is integrated with both of the uh, both on, on the cloud. And what I have done on 48, I will show you the configuration of FortiGet as well. So in FortiGet, I have of course configured SSL VPN. So I will show you where I have integrated the radius server. 
So this is the radius server. It is same as the Active Directory. So I just have to grow, select the authentication method, primary server, which is my Active Directory server, where I have installed the agent. That's it. And this is the LDAP server. So sorry, LDAP is not required. Only radius is required, which I have integrated here. So all my user, which is part of the LDAP, it can use the Okta. So now I'm going to show you how this actually works. So this is my portal. So what I will do, I will just copy paste the username, which is here. I will try to log in with this information. Before I just click, I will show you my machine or my mobile where you will actually get the notification. So now it is connected. So I will try to log in. No, sorry. I will use this agent. Let me see if it's working. Maybe I forgot the password. I'll use other username. Maybe I will have to reset the password of the user. I forgot the password. So in the meantime, just while I like to show you here in the reports, you will get the notification of the fail login as well, because I'm not able to log in. So you can see that authentication of the user via radius login fail. And here's the application that we have integrated. So that information also will be available. So what I will do, I will now just reset the password. Just give me a moment. Let me try it again. Yeah. I will try to log in into the different browser. Let's see if they're working there. Let me see what is the issue here. What are the people that is there?
let me try to connect with my old username and password as you can see now it has succeed oh sorry it's a username and password is wrong only so i'm not sure why it's not working but when you try to log in it will ask for the second factor of authentication and then on okta verify app you will be able to log in so just give you the information about this portal so this is the okta verify application as you can see i have already integrated different different portal and here you will get the notification and once you click on approve sign you will be able to log in into the ssl portal so if you need anything specific regard this you can reach out to me my email address i will just put it into the column where you can guide it yes javeria the now you can have the question answer uh, is integration is free right now because of the covid situation okay uh, generally it is it costs but for 6 month it is free now okay so i guess that is it rakesh you are you there are ah, i am there uh, yeah so, so question answer is already i am i have asked one question was there apart from that nothing else so you okay void okay. and we can close the session yeah okay uh, thank you all for uh, joining the session uh, Uh, for more information on the materials, you can drop a email to Ravi Pitwala. And uh, for the video of this session, uh, it is available in our Reddington YouTube channel. I'll be uh, writing down the YouTube channel uh, name. You can go and uh, watch the video again if you have any doubts.